Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Sunday, coming at you with 2022 Topps Series 1 Baseball. Uh, six box jumbo, three random team break, number eight. One spot gets you three teams. And then Major League Baseball, all cards will ship. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Let's triple you up. There's one, there's two, and there is three. Let me just double check. I think Karen is the one who got last spot mojo on this, right? Just like to double check the list, make sure I got it. So yeah, we got it. Aaron, Dusty, Bill, Corey, and Karen. Nice. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate it. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Six and a four, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten, we've got a couple errands all the way down to a bill. All right, six and a four. 10 times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time, finally. We got the Reds down to the Yankees. All right, here we go. Aaron with the Reds and the Astros. Karen, you got my Dodgers. Dusty with the Cubs. Corey with the Blue Jays. David with the Pirates. Karen with the Tigers. David with the Cardinals. Dusty with the Padres. David with the Red Sox. Corey with the Angels. Dusty with the White Sox. Aaron with the Marlins and Orioles. Dusty with the Mets, Twins, and Royals. Aaron with the Giants and the Rays. Dusty with the Nats and A's. Bill with the Brew Crew. Dusty with the Mariners. Uh, and the Phillies. Karen, you got the Rockies. Bill with the Guardians. Dusty with the Diamondbacks. Corey with the Rangers. Dusty with the Braves. Bill with the New York Yankees. Let's alphabetize this list by team name. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll have the break. Stick around. Be right back. All right. Welcome back, everybody. No deals were done. Here on a Sunday, the 20th, 2022, doing 2022 Series 1. So the list remains the same. Thanks, everyone, for making this happen. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Right, so let's pop this case open. The box topper, which is going to be Christian Pache. And that'll be for the Braves. Here are the silver packs right up here. Dusty with the world champs. Good luck, everyone. Kind of a fun sports day today. The uh, Genesis Invitational Golf Tournament he is here in Los Angeles. I think uh, I think Nick and his brother went to. Well, we'll have a, maybe we'll have a little report on that later on. But I think Nick and his brother went to the uh, just go watch around today. Maybe even yesterday too. 
we'll get a report from them. Um, Joaquin Noah. Joaquin Noah? No, Joaquin Neiman? Joaquin Noah? Getting some names mixed up, but Neiman, I think, is his last name. I don't know, know much about that guy, but I think he led the tournament wire to wire from like Thursday through Sunday, which was kind of amazing. Definitely not on, on my radar to win. And then the Daytona 500 was today. Austin Sindrick, I think, rookie? Austin Sindrick? Won the whole thing after a number of late cautions. Bubba Wallace came in second. He almost, he almost won it, too. And then we have the uh, NBA All-Star Game. Happening pretty soon, as well. Probably by the end of this break, we'll have some tip. We'll have the tip off right there. All right, so all card ship. Of course, we're looking out for Wander Francos. There's a Cabrian Hayes, Pittsburgh Pride City flag card, which are, I think look pretty cool. That'll be for David and the Pirates. These gold foils are not numbered. And of course, I think everyone knows by now the, the pattern to see uh, the pattern to see Wander Franco. After uh, Corbin Burns. Could Ernie go? There's Corbin Burns. There's Wander Franco. And our first autograph is Jason uh, Jansen Yunk. To Angels rookie auto for Corey. And Aaron with the Rays. Generally, these Wander Francos fall about one per box on average. Maybe we'll find some parallels, maybe a short print, maybe an autograph. All of those would be nice. Got a nice black bordered Whit Merrifield. Nice one for the Royals, Dusty. With Kansas City, six out of 71. Jake Cousins to 2022. Brewers, that's going to go to Bill on the Brew Crew. Now you see some of these multiplayer cards right here. Some of them will be different teams, right? 
an entire case, there's enough where we kind of evenly distribute these sort of cards to those three teams right there. Same with the dual player cards as well. So if you're wondering what happens to those. If they're numbered, then we'll definitely randomize them between the teams. And we've got a Kershaw die cut. And it looks like a short print right here, Corey Seager. I think that number is 6-0 back there. Yeah, that's a short print. Usually flipped around. Thanks, Tops, for that. Karen with my Dodgers. Last spot mojo. Nice short print. And there's his former teammate, Will Smith. Still Dodgers edition of Corey Seager. Of course, he signed that big deal in, uh, in Texas. Ken Griffey Jr. is your other relic. Nice one for the Mariners. That's going to go to Dusty in Seattle. Sometimes you can find autographs here, sometimes numbered parallels. This time, no, but of course, these will all ship to their respective teams. Nice parallels there. All right, box one in the books. Next box. All right, there's Dylan Carlson. Mm, I don't think so, Sam. That might that might be it for us. But I'll check when we uh, when we do get to that break at some point. First relic out of the second box is going to be Matt Chapman, Oakland Pride. Oakland A's Dusty with the A's.
we've got AJ Alexi, baseball stars autograph. That's for Corey and the Rangers. There you go, Corey. And of course, we'll do a uh, autograph and relic recap at the end. Got a Pete Alonzo, nice, home field advantage card. I think these are one per case-ish. Some cases we've seen none, but most of the, a lot of the time we see one. Dusty with the Mets. We have all these things at their, at their home ballpark. And we've got Kyle Seeger. Nice green parallel here for the Mariners. Dusty with the M's. Gets the Kyle Seeger, who retired. I thought 61 out of 499. I thought he'd be hanging around for a little for a little bit longer, but I guess not. Another Wander Franco. Got another Clayton Kershaw die cut. to 2022, Yerman Mercedes. White Sox, Dusty, the Southsiders, 1946 out of 2022. We've got a Wander Franco insert here, 2021's greatest hits. I don't know what these go for, but I suppose anything with Wander Franco on it is good. It'll be for Aaron and the Rays. Yadier Molina. David with the Cardinals. Silver Packs. Nice Wander Franco silver pack. 
card. Nice one for Aaron and the Rays. Sometimes these can be numbered as well, which is pretty cool. Much bigger RC logo there than some of the other rookie cards. Next box. Joey Bart is your box topper. That'll go to Aaron and the Giants. Box. Everyone watched the uh, All-Star Saturday night last night. I think there's been some conversation about maybe the, the dunk contest, maybe the three-point contest. Maybe they should close with the three-point contest. The dunk contest was a little... A little meh. I didn't win any of my plays for those little skills competitions. Another Wander Franco for Aaron Billingsley. I'm sure a lot of these have been pulled already, but now I think the game is which one are gonna which ones are gonna grade out nicely. Here's San Diego Pride, Fernando Tatis Jr. It's numbered to two ninety nine. Nice. That'll be for Dusty and the Padres. Cor the rare Corbin Burns does not reveal a Wander Franco. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes we'll see a Christian Yelich by himself too without a Wander Franco. I know, right, Riffer? I can't. I. 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 I mean, it was amazing. It was fun to watch. Carl Anthony Towns win the three-point con and set a record, Riffer. Right? If I'm not mistaken. I think he hit 29 threes, which I think is a record. I think the last one was maybe Steph Curry with 28. Carl Anthony Towns also, I think, probably the longest of shots to win a three-point contest for a long time. So someone in Vegas won a lot of money. I'm sure there's someone who put some money on Carl Anthony Towns to win the three-point contest. I mean... Should there, I mean, yeah, maybe, I mean, that could be interesting. Ooh, nice Jack Flaherty, baseball stars autograph for the Cardinals. It's going to be David Duffy. 
should just be center shooting in the future. That'd be fun to watch. I wonder if you would, uh, if they would ever tweak the three point contest or expand it to to include a group from each position. You know, maybe like an abbreviated version, and then the final uh, the final contest. And we got a Padres team card, 88 out of 199. Nice. Dusty with the Friars. What do we do about that dunk contest, though? I th I thought the skills challenge with the with the teams, I thought that was interesting. They may have to kind of tweak that a little bit, you know, in future years. But I, I kind of like the direction they went with that. And they kind of spiced things up a little bit. Three-point contest, I don't know, to me is always exciting. They got to figure something out with that dunk contest. Which used to be the 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 premier event of of the All Star of All Star Saturday. Just have riffers just saying just have players under five seven do it. Yeah, that, I mean that would be a spectacle. Even if they're just even if they're just doing standard dunks. We got Bryce Harper. 219 out of 2022. A Johnny Bench die cut. Johnny Bench die cut going to the Reds. That'll be for Aaron and the Bryce Harper, your MVP. One of Dusty in the Phillies. How many basketball players are under 5'7 in the league right now? Can't be very many. Isaiah Thomas, maybe? I think he's around five seven five eight. Are there any more after that? Major League material: Ryan Mountcastle. It'll be for Aaron and the O's. Silver packs, and you're guessing six players? I mean, maybe under 5'7 is a little much. We may have to expand that a little bit, but. I mean, how many, there's gotta be a number of guys under like 5'10. Get them to dunk. Ooh, looks like we got a blue parallel back there. There's Cal Raleigh, 83 out of 150 for the M's. That's going to be for Dusty. I don't know they're going to have to reconfigure the uh, the dunk contest somehow. I think the problem is we are now officially halfway through this break, boys and girls. We've got about another half an hour to go. Um, I'm going to do a recap at the end too. Here's Nate Pearson. I don't know how they're going to, I mean, I don't have ideas. I'm just 
kind of idly complaining about it, but I really don't know how they would how they would improve it. It was a little bit of a drag. I suppose one of the issues people are saying here on the trash can there, I think one of the issues people are saying is that not a lot of players want to do it. That's one issue. So that's an issue, right? I think some of the marquee, marquee dunkers don't want to do it. I don't know why they don't want to do it. Like why doesn't John Morant didn't want to do it? I mean, maybe they're fearing injury or something like that. I don't know. Ah, Riff are doing a little research for us. Marcus Howard and Composo apparently are the currently the shortest players in the NBA. Both are five ten. Both on the Nuggets. Interesting. Did the Immaculate Football go? No, did not. If you check the schedule, you can see exactly when it's going to happen. This is our first break of the day. Series one, it's a long one. Chapman right there. No worries, Mark. Yeah, remember, ladies and gentlemen, the break schedule um, is pretty important to take a look at. You can always see what we've done with 34 out of 299, what we're currently doing, and what we're going to do. There's a patch for the A's, Dusty. And we actually are kind of booked. We've got a handful of breaks booked up, lined up. So... Especially then, it's a perfect time to keep an eye on the schedule so you know exactly when your break is going to happen. Check that out. It's a great resource. It also has a shipping tab. That's another great resource. If you're like, you're like hey, I, I was in a break a few days ago. What's the status of that? When is that going to ship? So that shipping tab is updated fairly frequently as well. So you'll know, oh, I did a, a, a break that date. And I can see if it's in the sorting stages or the packing stages or the shipped stage, as the case may be. That's another great resource you can take a look at as well. For entertainment purposes only, there's the Joe's Picks tab. Where you can see how, how well I'm doing with, with my uh, financial interest in the outcome of certain events. And there's our autograph. It's a pirate. It's Rodolfo Castro. And that is for David and the Pirates. Sometimes these are numbered too. This one is not. There's Mike Piazza, Mets edition, die cut. I've seen some of these, uh, those die cuts can be numbered as well. The Piazza is not. I do not have a play on uh, on the side for this All-Star game, but I did take a shot at uh, possible All-Star game MVPs. So I, I put a little bit of lotto scratcher money on Luka Doncic at plus 1,200, 12 to 1, and DeMar DeRozan. 
Same same odds, plus 1,200, 12 to 1. There's 315 out of 2022, Kevin Pillar. Mets, Dusty. So we'll see what happens. Clemente die cut. The big favorites for the All-Star Game MVP are the usual suspects, Giannis, LeBron, Joel Embiid. I feel like, I don't know, is LeBron really going to go hard in the All-Star Game at his age? You know, same with Giannis, you know, I mean, he's, he's got to think of, I don't know, but I guess they're favorites for a reason. I like the slightly, the slightly longer shots. All right, see you, Jesus. Thank you. So I feel like the slight longer shots. Maybe, maybe Luka Doncic wants wants a little hardware. He might have a little extra motivation. Same with Demar Derozan. He's been having a great season. Got Gene Segura for the Phillies, Dusty for the Phillies. Now these these cards are interesting because I don't think anything on the front of the card, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure nothing on the front of the card is different. It's just number 119 out of 300, and the back is different as well. I think these are the advanced stats cards, which are pretty cool. Chris Bryant, piece of his lumber for the Giants, Aaron. Not numbered. Joey Bart is your box hopper for Aaron and the Giants. And here comes our second to last box.
bit toasty here. Let's get the AC going. All right. It's Clayton Kershaw. Los Angeles Pride. I have no idea if that is actually the seal of the Los Angeles City flag. I'm assuming it is. I think I think they, they have been relatively accurate about this. So a nice one for Karen in Los Angeles. Love the uh, the famous wood border. The top logo is not very good. This one too. Look at this. That's not worthy of Wander Franco. This might just be a bad batch. Looks like that was a bad, no, this is a bad batch too. Happens every once in a while. Let's see if these are good. Nice 1987 design going to Aaron and the Rays onwards. Oh, and we've got a. Oh, that's Curtis Terry. Curtis Terry's autograph on that 1987 design. Rangers, Corey, with Curtis. Got Mark McGuire, blue border on that one. Not numbered, but not common. And there's the regular Mark McGuire right there. And 
we got a Mike Musakis, Moose, to 71 for the Reds, Aaron and the Red Legs. Reveals a Wander Franco. That's generally the pattern. And we've got Geek Hernandez, the 2022. That's a nice photo of him. And that's for David and the Red Sox. And a Wander Franco insert. Joey Votto, uh, piece of his lumber, Votto-matic. Another one for Aaron. Got another Clayton Kershaw die cut. There's been a lot of Clayton Kershaw die cuts in this. Daniel, what's up? In your opinion, what do you think is better to chase, NBA or NFL? P.S. Not a big baseball fan. Uh, NBA. I mean, if you're, I guess, I suppose it depends on why you're collecting it but if it's for secondary market value in terms of like what's going to give you the biggest return money wise it's, uh nba for sure i mean the nfl is great but it's just limited to the united states Amer it's a distinctly our sport you know an american sport you know, but the NBA has grown to be a very global sport. You know, very big. A lot of NBA fans in Asia, Europe, Australia, South America. So the the market is a little bit broader, a little more a little more wide. All right, nice Christian Pache. It's your box topper. But in a very broad sense, you know, there's no uh, there's no right or wrong way to collect, right? You can, you can collect whatever just makes you happy too. But in turn, but I know a lot of people are going for value. I get that.
All right, final box. Good luck, box six. Of course, at the end of the day, in terms of chasing and collecting, you know, if you just get the right rookie, the right name, the right player at the right time, you know, there could be big, big chases in any sport. Vlad Guerrero Jr., I mean, look at, look at in terms of baseball right now, Wander Franco seems to be the big name right now. He's hobby hot. So, of course, individual players matter, of course. Uh, that Blue Jays relic going to Corey. Take a DeGrom die cut. For the Mets, Dusty. Logan, what up? And the autograph, our final auto, is a Glenn Auto Auto. An Auto Auto. Going to... Corey and the Rangers. Tim Anderson flipped around. That's a short print. Yeah, ending in 6-0. Oh, nice. Coming out of the cornfields. Field of Dreams action there. That is for Dusty and the White Sox. Yeah, Logan, I agree. We were, I was talking about that a little bit earlier. The slam dunk contest. What are we going to do about it? It was pretty meh. Some people are talking maybe you switch the order. Three-point contest, close it out, skills, dunk contest, and three-point contest. But how do you, then that gets me thinking, how do you quote-unquote fix the slam dunk contest? Franco. We didn't see anything too significant Wander Franco wise. I guess we got that one card out of the silver pack and then the 1987 wood border card. I was kind of hoping for like a short print or something numbered. Would have been really cool but there you go Aaron. Every little bit counts. Still have, still have that stack left so let's see. Fingers crossed.
We've got a Andre Jackson. 15-11 out of 2022. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Had some good, uh, some good spot starts last year. Had a few games, 11 innings, 10 strikeouts. But the six walks, that, that, that's the, it's got to trim down the walks a little bit, but he could be an interesting rotational guy. For the Dodgers, Karen with my Dodgers, There's Johnny Bench die cut, the last little bit. And Brandon Lau relic for the Rays, and that is that. We're going to find out what's in those silver packs as well. So Brand Lau for the Rays, that's going to be for Aaron. And the two silver packs. All right, so nothing too crazy there, but a pretty solid break. That was 2022, top series one baseball, six box jumbo, random team number eight, where one spot gets you three teams. Here is a quick recap. That's the blue parallel that was numbered. Home field advantage card. Been digging those. That Corey Seeger was a short print. And we started off with a nice Cabrian Hayes Pittsburgh Pride relic. There you go, gang. Break eight in the books. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye bye.